Okay, so this is uh, my weekly update. It's been a fairly long week. Um, I'm very busy at work, uh, working on some video projects. Um, <laughs> yes, I am very tired of looking at a computer monitor and doing editing. So, anyhow, as I speak, I'm not clear on what's happening with the Hamilton Heritage Committee. It was, um, normally it's supposed to meet the, the third Wednesday of every month, and if that is on schedule, then that they just met last, this past week on Wednesday, and I think they moved to Tuesdays to avoid conflict with City Council. So at this point, I don't know if the Heritage, Heritage Committee met or not, and what the status is of the Hermitage Ruins, because it was going to be coming up for discussion. Now, um, I also am not clear on exactly when the uh, permits committee is supposed to meet as well. So, I wasn't too sure whether I wanted to do a presentation before the committee. I was more thinking I would write a letter. Um, you know, it's, it's a, it is a bit of a nerve-wracking experience going before a committee. I can understand why not a lot of people do it. And um, so, yeah, so I'm not quite sure. I may have missed the opportunity. Um, and so I'm not quite clear on what's going. I have tried to contact a number of the um, different heritage groups in the city. Uh, and unfortunately, no one's got back to me now. It's probably that they're not reading their emails during the summertime. A lot of them are not meeting during the summer. And it's always very hard to get a hold of people during the summer months. But nevertheless, it is a little bit frustrating. I probably, if um, the, the Heritage Committee hasn't yet met for July, then I'll probably put a, uh, try to make some phone calls and see if I can get anyone in. But again, there's also a cutoff deadline for delegation uh, presentations, and usually that's about a week before. So I think the opportunity it may have passed if the Hermitage Ruins is going to be the, uh, raised for discussion this month. Um, and that's unfortunate and we'll see what happens. Um, you know, I put a lot of um, uh, I expressed a lot of concern about how the permits committee was addressing it and saying that you know it really had to be decided by elected city officials, uh, city representatives. And that's very true. I still stand by it. That doesn't mean I'm that any more hopeful that the, the ruins would be uh, salvaged. Uh, preserved. It's because the, the city council hasn't had a great track record of designating uh, buildings and protecting buildings uh, over the last five years. This last year uh, has been very exceptional with the amount of effort and interest uh, expressed on protecting heritage, but at the end of the day the track record hasn't been astounding. There's been a lot of positive things, the Heritage Inventory Project, the, um, um, the efforts to designate that building on James Street, the, the Gore buildings, those are all positive signs, um, but nevertheless, the, the overall tenor, tenor of heritage preservation is still a lot to be des uh, desired. And this is where, you know, it becomes difficult for uh, someone who's interested in and trying to be an, uh, an activist on this issue that, that these issues can be very time consuming and it is very difficult to stay on top of them, especially when life interferes with, you know, raising kids and trying to do your art and that sort of thing. I'm, um, this is also the summertime is a, a very busy time of year for me as far as trying to get outdoors and uh, doing sketch work and and doing printing and doing some uh, the other things that surround uh, my uh, my uh, my artwork. Sorry, I just uh, touched the camera. So anyhow, that's uh, it's been a very uh, busy week at work, and so that's where my focus has been very much. Uh, it's also been when i have not been working on that, I've been working on on art and that, uh, and uh, working on several projects that I'm trying to um, uh, get going. And um, on top of that, uh, Christine Seely, who I've asked to do a portrait of my daughter. Uh, she 
he's coming over this weekend to uh, take some more photos of uh, Sam, uh, of, of my daughter, and um, yeah, so we're quite excited about that. I'm very excited about having uh, a work by Christine Seeley. I think she's a fantastic artist. I have saw her about, oh, must be getting on 12 years ago when she was at, uh, had her show at, uh, had a show at the Artist Inc. Artist Hamilton Inc. on which was at that time on Vine Street. Now they're on Jane Street North, of course. And and then I'm thrilled to have this opportunity. Uh, we I approached her actually last year, but uh, knowing how things get, you know, balancing family and trying to, uh, you know, juggling jobs and trying to manage various art projects, uh, I gave her a very uh, loose uh, deadline to address because, you know, things happen and I'm just very happy that she's agreed to do uh, a, a, a painting of my daughter. So. She's coming over uh, this weekend uh, for some additional photographs and sketches of my daughter, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and uh, so that is really, it's been a very uh, chaotic uh, couple weeks. I, I, I must admit, I, I find uh, life extremely busy and very f tension fractured over many areas. That's really where my head is at, at these days. Um, I, um, I returned here to uh, uh, the old uh, lawn bowling field in Westdale. Uh, I used to come here and do, they used to have roses along the fence here and I used to uh, do some uh, still lifes uh, of the uh, roses uh, in the area and I've done a number, this has been one of my favorite areas for doing paintings. Um, I have a fascination with trees. I, I really do like uh, uh, painting trees and, and drawing trees and for a long time that would be the way I would get out uh, outdoors in the summer. It was, I, I tend to be a person who needs a purpose, a mission to to spend a lot of time outdoors and, and art actually provides me that. And uh, I find trees very much almost equivalent to doing a portraiture of a human face uh, or a human uh, human figure and uh, I never grow tired of uh, looking at trees and and each has their own personality and they, they, they they're born and they die and they have lifespans or uh, they're decades long sometimes even hundreds hundreds of years long, uh, old and uh, and I find it very fascinating so um, I find uh, and this is a beautiful area church Churchill Park is a, a fantastic area. Um, it's a, I'm glad it was uh, maintained um, all the all those years ago. But it is sad, you know, that the lawn bowling is uh, no longer here. I understand the only lawn bowling left is, I believe, in it's either Dundas or Ancaster. There's a club out there, and um, uh, and. Um, uh, th they still continue the, uh, the the game. It used to be nice, you know, seeing the mainly seniors uh, lawn bowling. It's uh, something that's not in fashion anymore. I've never lawn bowled in my life, and I'm not particularly interested. But I do like watching it. It is a very kind of you set up a picnic blanket here and and kind of watch the, the the players go, and it's actually quite nice. It's uh, it's on it's on par as far as comprehension and. Uh, to cricket and uh, you know the the cricket players uh, used uh, used to play in uh, in the park as well. I, I haven't seen them in a while, so I don't know if they continue to do cricket on Sundays. But uh, it, it, that also used to be a, a good pastime. When I was more in my running phase, I would run along the perimeter a perimeter of the park, and so I was much more up on what was happening in the park. Uh, these days, uh, I, I I'm working on just expanding my waistline rather than <laughs> keeping in shape. Uh, I need to change that of course but uh, given uh, raising two kids uh, it's uh, cr scratching out that time for art uh, doesn't leave much else for uh, much else outside of raising a family. So anyhow uh, on a very nice evening and they tell me that on uh, the weather it's going to get very hot and humid next week so uh, while it's still cute cool uh, that's uh, basically an update on this past week uh, and my activities. Uh, I'm still working on uh, the whip block print of Dundurn Castle. Um, I, I'm working on trying to 
I'm looking at a possible film submission to the Hamilton Film Festival in September. Uh, I haven't started, so it would be really quick. I probably totally unrealistic to think I could put together something that quick that's of any has any merit at all. But I am toying with the notion. Uh, I want to do something maybe artistic along those lines, and um, and uh, uh, continuing to try to advocate on behalf of heritage in Hamilton. And uh, you know, uh, hopefully uh, there'll be another kick at the can as far as the Hermitage uh, ruins are concerned. So thanks very much. To next time, take care. Bye.